On day eight of our cross Canada road trip, we woke up at Fielding Memorial Park in Sudbury. This bird sanctuary on Kelly Lake has many trails to explore, ponds, playgrounds, and many waterfalls. It even has a boardwalk through a marshland. We just hung out and caught some morning sun with these cool duckies. Then we hopped back in the loaf and made our way to Sault Ste. Marie. We didn't have any plans or destinations in the Sioux, so we just found a random parking lot to have some quinoa salad for lunch. We got back on the road heading towards the Agawa Pictographs. It was on our way to Sault Ste. Marie that we needed to stop for diesel and to clean up Lofi. We had accidentally spilt a large amount of water in the back of the van. It was at this time that we had met a wonderful lady named Christine. She was quite excited when she saw our Toyota Hiace and talked to us about her bus. She reminded us that there are super friendly nice people in the world and that you don't know how a friendly smile can change the direction of your day. Hey everybody, hey. we are here at the Agawana, Agawana? I think it's Agawana, so. Agawana, uh, Pictographs. Yeah. We're going to go take a quick little... It's in uh, Lake Superior Provincial Park. Yeah, we're going to go take a walk down, uh, down the hike here and the trail and we're hopefully going to see some Pictographs. All right, follow us on this crazy adventure and hope we don't get washed away. The Agawa Rock Pictographs are located in Lake Superior Provincial Park. Take a short but steep and rocky descending trail to the 15 meter or 50 foot high crystalline granite cliff face where there are 35 red okra pictographs visible we did our best to locate them all but the rock face was wet and quite slippery
All right, everybody. Yeah. Oh, right, right. right. We're gonna go on this side. All right, everybody. Look, there's a dinosaur. Got a tip, a snake, a couple snakes, a snake with legs. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking that one. And there's this purple one. Oh yeah, there's a circle. Oh, it's a boat with people oh, yeah. or something on it. And it's a man riding a horse looks like. And then there's something else. Looks like there's something, was something there. Something the pictographs were created somewhere between 150 to 400 years ago. Most of the paintings date back to the 17th and 18th century. These amazing pieces were created by the Ojibwa people and are among the best preserved of about 400 pictographs on the Canadian shield. The images etched in red ochre turned a pleasant hike into a amateur archaeological expedition. There are 11 trails that explore the different landscapes that make up Lake Superior Provincial Park. It was along one of these trails that we observed a lozenge-shaped boulder hovering in mid-air trapped between the walls of the eroded crevasse that tapers down towards the lake, and these amazing stone staircases that connect to another trail as well. This is cool. We got steps in here. Look at that.
pretty intense, like 500 kilometer or 500 meter walk. Well, so guys, we survived. We didn't fall in. We didn't fall in. Even though we almost did. And yeah. we still yeah. thought. Yeah. I will tell you, it is the rocks are very slippery. Yes. I came with Vibrams on, five finger uh, toe shoes. And, and my and, sandals worked better. And my, yeah, there, I got no treads on mine. And I was quite slippery and slipping, slipping and sliding in there. But I just took my shoes off and went down my bare feet. And yeah. It was cool. We saw most of them. It was too dangerous to see the other ones. All right, guys. Woo! Have a good one. Our campsite tonight was a quiet little pull off from Highway 17 we found on iOverlander called Cold River, where we could tuck Lofi into the trees, away from all the noise, and not to be a bother to anyone else. We are Cruising Vegans, and thank you for watching. If you're feeling our vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're craving some more, links down below.